Welcome, welcome, one and all. I have nothing to rhyme with that. Well, you know, lately I've been thinking. Um, well, two things, actually. First off, um, there was supposed to be a fourth part to my Q&A. I never got around to posting it, and since then, all videos I made have been erased from the file. So, as of now, that, uh, that last part of the Q&A is kaput. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to save the questions uh, that I did not get to putting up on here. There's only like four, I think, or four people's questions. And then uh, do those questions first when my next Q&A comes. Um, and I may get that done soon because, I mean, I don't like having unfinished questions. That drives me crazy. But what I've mainly been thinking is, hmm, you know what? I came to YouTube to make one main type of video. Well, several types that I can think of. But my one main type um, was ranting. And I used to do it all the time. And I was looking at my uploads a short while ago. And I noticed something. I had not done a rant in like half a year. What the hell have I been doing? Or haven't I been doing? Well, I've decided that it's time to get back in the groove of things. Mainly, more rants. More game reviews too, but rants first. Because I, since, you know, since my six month long rant hiatus, I have a lot of shit to get off my chest. And today, I'm going to rant about something that ordinarily I wasn't planning on doing for a while. I, I hadn't even planned it. But lately, I've been seeing this shit day after day after day after day. Everywhere I go. And it never stops. It just gets worse and worse. And that is people, not just in my state, although, like, I swear, 90-95% of the people who live in my state just do not know how to do this correctly. This rant's about people who do not deserve driver's licenses because they do not follow the simple basic rules of driving that we're all supposed to follow that those of us who earned our licenses do follow but those who've been driving for years and years think oh i don't have to follow that they know what i'm doing i don't have to i don't have to do it i have a license who cares the bare basics by that i mean things like using your blinker um well, that, that, that's, that's like one of the biggest ones. I'm trying to think. That was like so high up on this scale, I've, for, I've almost forgotten all the others. Um, mainly, mainly using your blinker. Um, people who um, always have their headlights on. One second. My, if you hear meowing, my cat's outside my room, so just ignore that. Uh, anyway, a blinker, constant use of their headlights. I mean, that's not really, that's not really a problem. It's just kind of, why would you do that? Uh, anyway, um... But aside from the blinker, I think the blinker is really just my, my biggest just pet peeve about driving is that no one uses their blinkers anymore. Nobody. I swear to God, on the road to my college and back home, which I take two to three times every day, only once on Friday because I have one class, but you get the point. There are so many intersections that I pass, so many busy intersections, and it would really help if you would use your blinker, but people don't do it. What I want to know is, why not? I mean, okay, now if you're in a lane that is left turn only or right turn only and you don't use your blinker, hey, that that's one thing, you know. You're in a lane which says you have to take a right turn or you have to take a left turn. I mean, I still use my blinkers in those anyway because I'm, I'm OCD about that. But if you don't, hey, that's one thing. That's okay. But if you're at a red light and uh it, it, again it could be a straight if, if you're in a, a lane that says you can go straight or turn left or you can go straight or turn right that's when you need to use your blinker because if you don't people like me are going to think you're going straight now when i'm behind someone on my way back home and there's this one specific lane this one specific lane that is a straight or right turn 95 at least 95% of the people turn on that, who, who, who turn on that lane, well actually they turn on that lane, but 95% of the people 
turn on that lane and they don't use their blinker. So when they approach the end of that lane, they slam on their brakes and like, whoa, what's wrong? Is something run out in front of you? No, they're turning, but they're not using their blinker. I, I swear, I have honked at so many people who do not do this. It's not hard. Okay, see, if you hold your hands on the wheel like this, 10 and 2, which I don't, I hold my hand like this, I hold it at 5. And my other hand's like either out the window or at my side, because I can drive like that. All you have to do is gently lift up your left arm and extend your fingers and go right turn or left turn. It's not that difficult. Okay, it's like turning on your windshield wipers, only it's the other side. Or whichever side it is on your car. I'm pretty sure blinker, blinker levers always on the left and ninja levers always on the right. But these people get to these intersections. They do not use their blinkers. They slam on their brakes. They turn, and people behind them are just going, "Hello, are you going? <laughs> are you going straight or are you turning? Use your blinker." I mean, they put blinkers on cars for a reason. They tell people whether you're going to turn left or right. If you're not going to use them, then hey, our immediate instinct instinctual if that's that's probably not a word but our first instinct is telling us hey that person's going straight but 90 to 95 percent of the time no they're not going straight they're turning um other peeves of driving people who uh do not and this is mainly like elderly people who are so apparently scared of the road that they drive 10 to 15 maybe even 20 miles per hour under the speed limit, creating a huge just convoy of people who are too stupid to change lanes and go around them, just just behind, them, just right behind them, and they're just like, <laughs> like seriously, if you're that old, I mean, I'm not saying all people drive like that. I've seen a couple of people who've outrun me on the road, and I always drive like five to ten miles per hour over the speed limit, which is kind of a kind of the safe time around here or the, not time but safe speed around here that you won't get pulled over unless there's a cop who just like absolutely needs to go for his quote and he'll pull over the first guy he sees going even one mile an hour of the speed limit but and then i run into this one person who's going like like you know you know if we're in a 40 miles per hour zone they're going like 20 my first instinct is like and i say this out loud so i'm like oh it's got to be an old person so i change lanes and i go around and i look and I, I look to my left or to my right or to my left or to my right I'm correct. It's always it's an elderly person who is just puttering on along as if they're driving a little golf cart on the road. <laughs> like, I understand if you don't want to go as fast as this, that's one thing. But if you want to go under the speed limit, that's cool. I mean, that's fine. Some people treat speed limits differently than others. But, I mean, go a minimum of, I don't know, five under? Maybe... Up oh, 210, that would be okay. Depending on how busy the road is, 5 under is a, a bare minimum at least. But do not go 15 to 20 miles per hour under the speed limit. You're not going to crash. You're not going to skid out of control. You're not going to hydroplane. You're not going to you know, suddenly lose control or panic and crash. I mean, it's one thing to be cautious when driving, but going 20, 25 miles per hour below the speed limit, that's not being cautious. That's just being scared. When we took driving classes... And we were given that little book that we had to, like, you know, read and follow to get our licenses or our permits. They told us this one thing called defensive driving. Not aggressive, but defensive. As in, you know, keep, I'm probably butchering this, but it's the best I can do. Keep a constant visual of your surroundings. You know, go at a, at a, at a, mo a modest speed, which would be, you know, 5 up to 10 miles per hour below the speed limit. No slower than that. But if you go below that, that's not being defensive at all. That's being submissive. That's submissive driving. You don't want to do that. You will have people honking your ass out. They will be changing lanes and going around you. They will be flipping you off. I've never done that before because I'm afraid. I'm afraid the first person I flip off is going to, be, is going to have like a gun in their car. They're going to like blow my brains out over road rage. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that did happen. But seriously, I mean, you know. It's just general things like that, you know, I mean, mainly people don't use their blinkers. Those people just, ugh, those people annoy me. I mean, I want to just hijack their car and show them how to drive it. Just extend your fingers or, you know, reach out. If you drive one-handed like I do, lift up, the, lift up the lever. If you're turning right, pull it down if you're going left. Please, God, do not 
go 25 miles an hour under the speed limit. Oh my god, that's just... Like, I'm going at a good speed, I'm at a comfortable speed, all of a sudden I have to, like, slam my brakes because someone in front of me is just, like, puttering on along, like, again, like, they're driving a golf cart across the road. And it, it's just really those two things, but those two things can add, add up. I mean, you see it day after day after day. I mean, you see it once, like, okay, whatever. There's going to be people like that. But you see it, like, day after day. I've only been driving for, God, how long? Like, two, barely over two years. And I'm already convinced that I drive better than most everyone in the city. Like, maybe I'm not as cautious as I always should be, but I make sure to check lanes when I switch over. Oh, that's another thing they don't use their blinkers for doing. Switching lanes. Illegal lane changes. Police do that all the time, too. So, I mean, it's just those things, you know? Bare basics of driving that no one ever follows anymore. But, unfortunately, I guess that's always going to exist. Unfortunate as it is. Got to live with it, live with it, I guess. But, that does it for this rant. And, uh, I'll, uh, Think of something else for a later time. I'll see you then.